the goal of this work is to enable the robot to learn entirely on its own without providing feedback or without uh, kind of telling the robot what to do during learning. The way that we do this is we give the robot a bunch of toys, a bunch of random different objects, and let the robot play. We have a robot that, is, that has been collecting data um, of pushing objects for thousands, tens of thousands of trajectories. And in this way, the robot has learned the physics of interacting with the real world. And we trained a video prediction model that is taking these, these videos that we collected and then predicting the future videos. And then we use this data to enable the robot to learn how to imagine what's going to happen based on different actions that the robot might take. So just like, just like a human would do, a human would consider a large number of different possibilities and then execute the best possibility and, uh, and also replan when things go differently than expected. Once the robot has learned how to imagine the future video, then it needs to, in real time, decide what actions to take. So it needs to be really fast. And uh, we can do this uh, by paralyzing over four GPUs. We're right now using a DGX station here, and it's, um, that, that gave us a huge speed up. What's really exciting about robotics is that the robot is actually interacting with the real physical world. In the long term, I think that robots can do a lot of things to help humans, uh, whether in disaster relief, relief zones, in manufacturing, in healthcare. I'm really excited about making robots move objects, manipulate objects, because I believe we can, we can offload a lot of work to robots if we, if we can make them move any object from any place to any other place. We can solve a lot of different tasks.